Sapp here with you. I'm the curator of Jazz at Lincoln Center. And I've been telling you about jazz musicians, about the origins of jazz, about the backstory. And right now I want to tell you about one of the most famous of the earliest jazz figures, an absolute genius, the music's first great composer, Jelly Roll Morton. Jelly Roll Morton was probably born in October of 1889. I'm not sure, and he didn't want me to be. He kind of played fast and loose about his origins. But the bottom line is that he was born in the late 19th century, and he was born in New Orleans, and he was blessed with musical genius, and he completely was taken with the new sounds that were being played in the city. He heard Buddy Bolden as a young person. He heard a whole gang of stuff, and he elected to make it at least a part of his life. He was a great musician. Piano's his main instrument. He played a smidgen of trombone. There are even recordings of him on guitar. He could sing. But composing and playing jazz piano, that's his thing. Jelly Roll Morton is the music's first composer. And he might also have been the music's first proselytizer. You know, Jelly Roll didn't stay in New Orleans too often. He kind of split early. He indeed wants you to think he, he split earlier than he could have. You know, if he was born in 1889, he's not a grown man playing in other cities in 1900. But regardless of when he grew up, when he did, he left New Orleans and he went to all sorts of places. He went to Chicago, he went to Denver, he went out to California. And there he heard musicians who had heard a little bit of what had happened in New Orleans. And he said, yeah, I understand, you know about us, but you don't know us. Let me show you how it's done. He gave music lessons to his colleagues he gave demonstrations at music stores. You would call them, it's almost defunct now, you'd call it a record store. But in those days, they used to sell printed, published music just as much as records. And they would have the instruments in the store. They'd sell instruments. And he'd go in there and he said, let me demonstrate. And he taught everybody about this new wonderment, New Orleans swing, and a way to swing it. But he also did one other thing. He gave repertoire. It's one of the ways jazz becomes a fully realized music. You have a style. You have a way of the style being emphasized by a group of musicians playing in the style. You have an ensemble concept. You have an individual style. Well, what are you going to play now? We're going to play Jelly Roll Morton's compositions. He's our first composer. He's as great a composer as we've ever had. He's that great. Jelly Roll Morton. He did things called Jungle Blues, and he also did the Pearls. And his most famous composition is probably King Porta Stomp. And I told you he played a little fast and loose with the truth. He even claimed that he wrote some tunes that he didn't write. But just on a few of the ones he did for sure, like that beautiful ballad, Someday Sweetheart, or that non-blues that's named for the Wolverine, he's the man. He could stomp, he could play the blues, he could play sweetly. It always swung, the melodies were perfect, the chord progression under them were as thoughtful and well-developed as has ever been done, and he gave jazz musicians something to play.